Hi everybody, it's me, Bernie P here. Hi everybody, it's me, Bernie P here, and thanks for watching again another video review. And what game am I playing today? Ah, as you can see here, it's called Astral Heroes. Now, this is the type of game that I don't normally play. There's, this is a card-based game. Reason why I chose this game is because I wanted to actually familiarize myself with card-based games. This one looked a little bit interesting. It's actually it's been around for a little while, and this is kind of a more revamped version of the game, according to the information on, I've gotten on Steam. Now this is a Steam game. I have decided to switch from going to Microsoft App Store and trying a Steam game, a free-to-play game. Um, another thing that w wanted me to try and play this is because I've actually been working on uh, graphics for a board game that will be eventually uh, converted over to a digital format. And I want to kind of, I have not seen the digital format. I know it's kind of in the works. I don't know um, if I will have any part in the production of it. I was kind of told that there was a possibility um, that I would get involved uh, with the graphics, um, probably some of the 3D stuff. But I thought that if it ever came to the point where I did get the opportunity, I would have a little bit of knowledge of how some of these games are p made and the functionality and, and the gameplay and all. So I figured why not give it a try. I played one match to kind of familiarize myself with it and it's very simple. And I even said that is a simple version of it. So I'm glad that it's not too complicated for me. And basically what the premise behind the gameplay is, you're fighting against another character. Um, you use your cards, uh, to which can possess magic or c characters that will fight for you. And you basically have to either... Uh, well, your main goal is to take out the main character, um, which could be this opponent right here, um, the Ug Ug Ruck, which is some kind of, uh, well, he's an orc. Um, and he, this character will have his minions that will fight against me. Now, they can attack me if I don't have the right cards or characters that will help defend me. And the way it works is every t turn base, um, the attack happens. So you play out your cards, you take your turn, the action happens, and then you have a result. So let's go ahead and do a match and see how it w will work. So I'm going to take on this guy. I don't think I should. I don't think I have the ability to take out anyone right now. Um, I get a reward. So my reward for taking out this guy is a card from his deck. Okay, and he's a bloodthirsty leader of the orcs. Enemies of all civilized people. By defeating him, perhaps you can bring peace to these war-torn lands. Perfect. That's what I'll do. Let's take him on. So this lovely long chap, lovely chap in the corner is me. Um, this is my mana, this is my power, and this is my health, basically. My life points. This is his life points, and the objective is to reduce them to zero. Um, so what I'll do is, I'm going to lay out my halfling. And every turn, or card that I lay down, I get another one in its place. So I can't I can't lay down more than one card. I can try because I need the pro I need mana points in order to do it. So I'll end my turn. And now it's going to be his turn. So I have to click to continue it, and it lays down. So he didn't attack me. He could have, but he didn't attack me. So what I'm going to do is this guy. Um, how much spell costs three? 
I don't think I have enough mana, but I could try. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down this guy. And then I'm going to end my turn. So my card is going to attack because I end my turn. And he's attacking me because he's ending his turn. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack them all with that guy. Now I don't know if I can lay down any more. No, see, I still I need two mana. So that's how it's played. So then I would have no choice but to end my turn. But once I end my turn, my uh, halfling here gets an opportunity to attack him. There we go. See that how easy that was? Okay. Oh, he's using a lightning bolt on my guy. Oh, and he kills him. And I take minus four points of damage. That's not cool, man. That is not cool. But that's okay. Because, can I do it? Yes, I can target him. He's gone. And I'll end my turn. So, we have his orc minions coming in for an attack. Let's, let's try this guy and see what he, his, he's can, capable of doing. I'm just going to end my turn so I can get some attacks on the go. The ability of orc trooper costs for... Add an orc trooper card into your hand. Okay, I don't know what that meant, but I have a feeling I'm going to get attacked. There we go. It's, it's getting difficult. Uh, it's going to cost me one. Mm. And he's gone. And he gets a plus two. Ooh, that's nice. So let's end the turn here. Let's take some van damage. Oh. The Elven finally took it a blow. I might lose a guy. Oh, he's getting two chances. What the hell? Don't take up my orc, uh, my 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 little halfling guy. Okay, spell cast. Uh, okay. Can I lay down here? Yes, I can. Oh, it's because he, ha I have, he has enough points, and I didn't think of that. So that's one thing you have to remember. It's not that I could have just done one turn. I could have done many turns, depending on the mana and power. So, um, no, it costs two, three attack. Yes, I can. And that's all I can do. Attack, attack. Ability of Orc Trooper cost for. Add an Orc Trooper card into your hand. Okay. I guess. Ah, uh, it's adding to his hand. That's not cool. I don't like this guy. Okay, so. Cure. I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna heal them all up, and I'm gonna end my turn. This could become very difficult for me, I ha but I'm doing good in terms of my my health. Why do these guys keep going back? Oh, no. Uh, and he gets four back. That is not That is not cool. Okay, you know, I'm putting you there. 
And do I have enough? I'm putting you there. Oh, what's this? Mana Storm. Player's ability costs two mana and two spell powers. Deal two damage to all enemy creatures and draw a card. This ability may be only used once. Oh, yeah. And cast spell. Deals 10 damage. You're gone. No? Ah, that's all I can do for now. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. Orc Brigand. Brigand? Chaos creature costs one and attack three, life of seven. Ah, you're no match for my unicorn. Ah, he's got some he's got some cards up his sleeve there. And he's stocking up. Okay, so I think I'm going to attack this guy. Boom. And he's gone. Oh, yes. And you're going there. And do I have enough? Yes, I do. Take them all out, baby. Take them out. Yeah, cure them all. And that's all I can do. And I win. And I win. See? I love this. And the thing is, it's not linear like some games, which kind of, I hate games that you, you, you think you're playing it, but you're not playing it. And this is actually a bit of strategy. Like if I did not play my cards correctly or do something wrong, now I'm sure it gets a little bit more harder as the game progresses, but I could have made a mistake and actually gotten myself killed. So I'll, because I'm at the early stages, I don't think the characters I'm going to be fighting are going to be too hard for me to take out. So, uh, I've completed two scenarios. Quest completed, none. Deck editing not yet unlocked. Okay. So, I still haven't gotten any coin yet. and Premium, none. I don't know if these things I actually have to buy. But let's play another match, okay? Uh, <coughs> yeah, buddy, I know exactly. So we're gonna fight this guy. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay, I see where we're going here. Ooh, I got some orcs in my hands. <laughs> and this guy, Leprechaun. Life creature. Ability, restore three lives to wounded adjacent creatures. Really? Okay, well, we're going to... I don't even have enough? Oh my god. Well, I can lay this guy down. Okay. So that's it for me. Uh, the mummy. Don't touch me. Do not touch me. Okay, do I have enough? No. Eh, he's difficult to lay down, huh? Uh, I'm wondering, should I lay this guy down here? I'm gonna put this guy here. Okay. Deal three damage to any of uh, Oh, chop and take some out. Okay. Okay, we'll take on the take on the mighty and ancient Zerb Zerb Zerb. Where did he come up with these names for these cards? Okay, and I don't have enough for you. I don't have enough, and I don't have enough. So we're gonna end our turn. But he gets to attack, which is good. Ah, uh, why? Leave my guy alone. Oh! And he gets a double attack. Okay, use ability. Ability of Ancient Zerb costs two. Premium increase Ancient Zerb attack by one. 
Okay. I'll take you out. And he's not down yet. Uh, I want to get this guy out of here. There we go. Ooh, minus 10. That is a good shot, buddy. Okay, look at that. I'm bringing him down. Bringing him down. Ah, uh, death is coming after my... Ah, uh, wow. And he gets four points back. Okay. Oh, cha. Uh... Life creatures, cost for taxes, life ability, draw a card. Uh, okay, let's put you there. And that's all I got. Boom, you're gone. Lich, death creature, cost five, attack five, life 15. When you summon Lich, deal five damage to the opponent. Oh, he's gonna automatically go. That's okay. Usability. Oh, draws the card for me. Lovely. Cost is one spell. And I don't know if it did anything. So you're going there, Lucky Charm. Okay. Let's see what we can get out of this. The Banshee. She's lovely, isn't she? Ah, uh, this is zombies, guys. What's with these zombies, guys? Come on. Uh, boom. Uh, oh. Nice damage. Uh, oh, I can lay down my, my orc guy. Oh, okay. Now we're, now we're going to lay down. Oh, come on, come on, yes. So far, I'm liking this game. It's actually kind of cool. But you have to kind of pay attention to what you're doing, like I said. Unholy Monument. Death Creature, cost three. Okay, he's coming in. Uh, he's attacking my archer and this banshee. Oh, what the hell? She absorbed him? Ooh, the banshee's bad. Okay. So, uh, I think I'm going to put this guy there. And I put you there. And why not? Let's see where this gets me. Why won't you guys attack? That's what I'd like to know. Ah, come on. Don't... You took out my, my guy, man. You took out my guy. Okay. Gives her a bonus. Takes him out. Okay. And you go there. Use your ability. And do I have enough? Yes. Oh, yeah. And one more. Take at that bench. Damn it, man. She's like a pain in my arse. Okay. We should be able to do some major damage here. Oh, he's almost gone. He's, but he's getting the points. The mana and the power. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, attack him. Is he gone? No. He's gone? Yes. And we're going to enter him because we can't do anything. And we won. Oh, my God. We won. Yes. Title of Mage and the ability to edit your deck. So now I can edit my deck. <sighs> See, this is new now. This is new. Ooh, this guy's like from Game of Thrones. He looks small. Okay, my deck. My current deck. 575 out of 600. So I have some cards here. Deck editor. 
you use the deck editor to construct and modify your decks. On the left, you can see there are cards that are already in your deck. On the right, cards you can add to your deck are shown. Your deck must contain between 25 and 30 cards. Each card belongs to a particular class, and you can't use cards from more than two classes. Also, each card has actual cost parameters, shown in the upper left of the card. Left, parent. And a total actual cost of cards in your deck that can't exceed your actual power. Okay. So, these are all the cards that I have in my deck that I can use to my ability. Now, we have some new ones over here. Okay. What's the difference between this one and this one? Leprechaun, ability cost one, stores left three, three and nine. It's pretty much the same thing. But I don't have this guy. Tree folk. What's this one? P Life spell cost five, draws trees, cards. And what does you do? Elven Priestess. At the beginning of your turn, Elven Priestess grants you one additional mana. <gasps> She's in she's a necessity. A necessity. And you I'll take. And you would take. And might as well. Okay. That's good enough for me. Okay, where is my astral power? Astral power. Okay. Uh Ah, uh, there's my my card cost. So I can't take them. There, I can take her. Ah, she's worth it. Okay. Let's do one more. Let's do one more quick one. And then we'll do a little review on the whole game here. So I can go to this one or we can go to this guy. I think we should go to fight this guy. Because they're, they're setting me up here. Okay, they're setting me up. Okay, so we're gonna go here and I can't do anything else. So now we're gonna wait for what he's got in store for me. Are you serious? He's gonna kill my guy, isn't he? Okay, I'm gonna put you there. And no, well, I can't do anything right now. Ooh, a little tap. Oh, and he's gone. And I take three damage. That is not cool. Okay. Boom. You are out of there, buddy. All right. And I can't take any more shit. <laughs> Excuse me. I didn't mean to say that. I, I meant to say I can't take any more shots. But I don't want to move from there. Alright, so this guy wants to get into the action, huh? Um, yeah. Get out of there. And one more to you. You're out of there, buddy. Those, those flame balls are actually amazing. Okay, so. Oh my god. He's almost gone. He's almost finished. Back off, sister. Uh, and can I do. No! Alright. Okay, he's gone, and he's gone. All right, that's it. Ah. Why? Go there. Can I? Can I attack? Attacks nobody. Come on, no. He's down to five. 
Okay, I need... <gasps> Give me it. Okay, do I have enough? Yes. We're gonna get this guy. He's not that hard. Vindictive Angel. Really? You can't... And he's 30. Ooh. Okay. Ah, uh, we win. Not a chance. Not a chance on this guy. Not a chance on him. Well, I'm actually getting some coin here, which is kind of cool. And I'm unlocking stuff. So, can we move this map? No, it seems that the map is kind of stuck the way it is. Let me see, what missions do we have? Because I also have missions, don't I? Total annihilation. Defeat an opponent by dealing more than 20 damage with your final hit. Okay, I guess these are like uh, rewards. If I defeat an opponent, I get 25 crystals. I don't know. I have to see how that works. Market. Oh, we get to go to the market and we get to buy things. <gasps> no way. I can buy a dragon? Is that possible? Okay. Uh, should I buy this guy? Already purchased. Oh, no. Okay. I purchased him. Okay. I was like, don't scare me like that text. Okay, so close, and if I go to my cards, I think you get a chance to use the Elven Priest yet. Uh, okay, so I have a certain number of cards here. So I'm going to... Do I have him? No, he's not here. I bought him. But I can't use him. Why not? Okay. I can't even use this one yet. Uh, okay, we'll try that one. So... Where? Why is it that I have this guy? Oh, you summon your swordmaster. He immediately performs two attacks. Hmm. Okay. So, what do you guys think of this game? Do you think it's worth it continuing? I kind of like it. I think maybe I'm going to continue playing this here for a little bit, and once I get a little higher in status here I'll come back and give you another revamp review on this but so far it's a very simple game it's kind of fun there's a little bit of addic a little bit of addictiveness into it um, and overall the layout the graphics to me seem to be fine um, so far the the UI layout you know it has a, a, a perfect flow to it, a good flow to it. So everything, you know, you're looking at um, seems to have its functionality. I don't know if I'm kind of like blowing this out of my ass, but I used to be a UI designer, and it and it's very difficult to um, create UI that has the perfect flow, and it's not like mixed and mashed and jumbled everywhere. And I kind of look at this, and I and, and I'm right away I can easily see what it is that I can do to it without being confused and in terms of the overall gameplay well it seems to be very simple but I'm hoping that it'll becoming a little bit more harder and uh, in terms of strategic uh, moves but you know I, I'm, I'm still at the beginning of the game there's cards that I still have to unlock there's cards that I've gotten that I haven't even used yet and what I want to know is, once I finish this whole area, is there more to this game? Is there like a limit to how far you can go? 
Um, and that's what I'm here for. I'm here to review this. So, if you like this, if you want to try this game out, I, I can kind of re recommend it. Um, in terms of giving a rating, I really don't know. Um, I would say, I don't want to start using a rating system, but I say in my opinion, it's it's kind of a fun game, if you like card games. Um, it's not very complicated. It's not too uh, in your face. It's very intuitive. Um, so, uh, I'm, I would... I would say I would kind of recommend this game, um, but like I said, I'll be back to uh, do more uh, updates on the gameplay of this to kind of let you know where I'm at. Um, but if you like this game, I recommend trying it out if you like seeing what I've been playing. Um, so maybe leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of it. Um, if you want to see more of the game, hey, just let me know and I'll, I'll make more videos of this one. And um, overall, this is a good game. Go to Steam, uh, look into the free-to-play section, and uh, or search for Astral Heroes, and just download it to your computer, and uh, give it a try. All right. So this is Bernie P signing out today in this video, thanking you for checking out my game review on Astral Heroes. Um, I will let leave as much information in my comment section um, below uh, on the developers and the links or whatever links I can get for you guys to, to go directly to uh, this game and uh, so that way you can check it out for yourself. If you're again, I know this is a norm. If you are new to my channel, by all means, click the subscribe button to come back and let me know what you think of my videos if you have any suggestions of uh, or comments or games you would like me to test um, just let me know I'm here to test free to play games yes eventually I will uh, get um, paid versions uh, right now I have no budget I do this for fun and <laughs> I hope you guys like my videos so this is Bernie P signing off. Don't forget to like also. You know, I want you guys to share my, my content so that I can become popular here on YouTube. All right, so uh, thanks for watching, guys and gals. And please come back again and watch more of my videos. I would really appreciate it immensely. Ciao, Bell, for now.